is day three. Away we go. <clears throat> One sick thing about Iceland is stuff like that back there. That waterfall is right behind our hotel and it's like a hidden gem. No tourists, just natural beauty. So we're gonna drone the out of it and move on to the next spot. Check this out, like hidden gem number two. We haven't even started our day yet, two hidden gems. Look at that waterfall and look at that rock up there. It's like, it looks like a tiger. Either, I guess, either it looks like a tiger or I'm a crazy person. A tiger rock waterfall, boom. Check out this spot, ladies and gents. gets even better. Yep, it's a long way down. So we just uh, visited this canyon. Uh, Eric learned a pretty valuable lesson about drones. Eric, you wanna tell everyone what you learned? Don't touch them. <laughs> yeah. when, they're, when they're flying. Don't, don't try to catch a drone while it's flying. It's, uh, it's probably gonna hurt your fingers. All right, hidden gem number three, the sick waterfall. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. All right, so we made it to our first non-hidden gem, which is, wait, what's this place called again? Actually though, you're gonna leave me hanging here. Skaftafell. Skaftafell National Park. And we decided to pick one of the hard routes to go see all the cool stuff. This is that cool stuff. Okay, so if Steve dies, we know why. <laughs> All right, so we're pretty much at the top here. We're yep. almost, almost at the glacier. Yep. And uh, check out how far Eric got ahead of us because he's like a kid in a candy yep. store. Hold on, Dan, how's your zoom on that thing? Yeah, I can't even see him. Look how far he is. We caught up to him because he stopped. <laughs> you Finally. <laughs> zoom. If we zoom in, it looks like we're close. It's uh, quite a bit of a walk. Sorry. Yeah, a little bit. I think the sign said 7.2 kilometers. 7.2 kilometers. I don't. I don't even know the last time I walked that far ever. Uh, yesterday. Oh yeah, That's yesterday. A plane crash. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. before Iceland, I probably <laughs> haven't walked seven kilometers, but twice in two days. Holy. That's pretty good. And we made it to the top. Check this out. It's pretty sick up here. It's crazy. It's legit, like massive. You feel so tiny up here, but it's like crazy beautiful. I don't think he's leaving. I think he's just gonna live there forever. Yeah. Mom, don't watch this part of the vlog. Yeah, look all the way down there. The top of your screen, those are people. You nervous? Not at all. You nervous? I'm not, but you guys are making me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! made it back to the car that was tiring very very tiring I literally have an unlimited supply of sand in my boots so if you need any let me know Hurry up! all right so day three is a wrap I got to keep it down because we're sharing an Airbnb with some other people but we saw a lot of cool shit best part of the day for me though was Steve asked me to be his best man in his wedding and you know, Iceland is a sick place, but I don't think anything's gonna get better than that. I love you, buddy. Is 
day four and we decided to start our day the most Icelandic way possible by making friends with sheep. <laughs> we backed them into a corner. Oh yeah, sheep, backing sheep into a corner is a bad idea. Or, or Eric can go closer. I hope one of them just rams them. Yeah, I'm not, uh, <laughs> that seems a little too risky. All right, let's go do something productive. Also, check out our backyard from yesterday. Eric, what's our first stop? Hengafoss. Now say it like the most Icelandic you can say it. Hengafoss. Right on. Okay, so on day one, I complained about a really short walk from the parking lot of Dingvellir National Park. So it's a pretty long walk to a bridge with a ton of people on it. Whatever the f I've quickly realized that that's probably the shortest walk we're gonna do the whole time we're here. I'm not sure if you guys can hear this or not because the water is pretty loud, but one cool tip for shooting waterfalls. Uh, whoa, holy, it's hard to vlog and walk at the same time. Uh, one cool tip for shooting waterfalls, don't always shoot portrait mode. I know like the, the waterfall is running up and down, so it's kind of like first nature to, to shoot at portrait, but shoot landscape too because a lot of the times the rocks and stuff are pretty sweet. Just. Uh, Think about composition when you're doing stuff like that. So we've officially made it as high as we can go. I wanted to go to the top, get up, rappel up there, but I got a hard no from Eric and Steve, so we'll have to settle for that over there. Eh. All right, so we begin the descent down. What do you guys think of Hengafoss? Pretty awesome. Pretty, pretty yeah. sweet waterfall. And now I'm gonna put the camera down and focus on where the hell I'm going. We are now at Fardagafoss, and we got uh, some of the best news we've gotten all week. Even at an easy pace, the walk up to the waterfall is less than 30 minutes. That's a win. Woo! That is a win. Yes. There's a little bit of a freaky walk to get to the waterfall. Woo! If you look to your right, certain death. And a nice skinny path to avoid it. And my friends are gone. It's steep too. I don't know if the camera does justice to how steep this is and how wet this actually is. Day five's a go, a little bit tired, which is why I've got this bad boy right here. So for anyone who loves to travel and loves to drink espresso, this is money in the bank. And this is not sponsored because I'm not that popular, so why would they pay me to say anything about it? I just really like it. You literally add espresso, add water, pump it a few times, and you've got espresso to go. So I'll link that down below. Check it out if you like it. All right, we just arrived at Daddy Foss. Fun fact, one of Brad Pitt's kids' middle names is actually Daddy Foss. You can look that up, I wouldn't lie to you. True fact. Also, it took me five days when I figured out how to keep my camera dry. Plastic bag when I'm not using it. I realize I probably look absolutely ridiculous with this hood on, but it's freezing up here. And as we approach the waterfall, I have a really good feeling I'm about to be drenched. And you got Dora the Explorer and Boots over there who are like 10 kilometers ahead of me. Yeah, don't worry about waiting for your friend Daniel. It's fine. I'm good. I can do this. So we were just a couple inches away from the most powerful waterfall in Europe. Thought about going for a swim, but there's no dryer, so I wouldn't be able to dry my clothes off, and that's pretty much the only thing that stopped me. Woo! Almost fell. Almost ate it. Alright, 
We made it to Sajokal Atar. Uh, the rain has stopped, but I am soaked. <coughs> Steve, Steve, you want to tell everybody why I'm soaked? Uh, we drove through a big puddle like this, and he was trying to videotape it, and we soaked him. You got to do what you got to do to get the shot. Only a 600 meter walk with my soaking wet ass. Sometimes you got to wander off the beaten path to get the good shots. Even if that means losing your friends. Guys, wait up, guys. All right, this is one of the things we came to see here. Check that out. If anyone knows why the rock's like like this, leave it in the comments below, 500 words or less, or I'm not gonna read it. We're a couple clicks in now, and if you can see behind me, it just looks like a lot of rocks. So we're gonna throw the drone up in the air and then start hiking back. Airbnb now, small little place, kitchen, air and Steve, and that's all. I'm gonna try an Icelandic hot dog with like traditional dressing. Tastes like a hot dog. If anybody tells you Icelandic hot dogs are the best thing, it's pretty standard. <laughs> 